As WordPress users, we love the opportunity that it gives us to create awesome websites without coding. But on the other hand, we can feel frustrated at times with simple things like making the page full width. Come on WordPress, really? So today I will share with you my 5 biggest frustrations as a WordPress user, as well as some of the possible solutions to help make your WordPress experience smoother. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team, and as mentioned, today I will share my 5 biggest frustrations when it comes to WordPress. One the lack of design options. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, we love WordPress. It's just beautiful for the opportunity that it gives us. But let's face it, when it comes to design, come on WordPress. So if you want to build beautiful and modern websites and you want to completely control the design part of building your website, then you may want to look into popular solutions like Elementor, Beaver Builder, Divi, Bricks, Breezy, and I'm sure I must have forgotten a few. But here you're on the Brainstorm Force channel, so I'm gonna talk about two solutions that you can use separately or even combine for more power. First one is the Astra theme. So here is a page I try to create with the, just the core blocks and the default WordPress theme. Now, I didn't have many options. Like for example, I cannot even toggle the title off. And when I look on the front end, I mean, why is there a line here? I didn't even know where to change it. Why is the logo so small? And you know, this is the kind of issues you run into and in terms of layout, it's very difficult to create what you want. Basically, you stuck with what the theme comes with. Whereas here, it's exactly the same content, but I'm using the Astra theme. And with all these customization features, this is what I came up with. And let's take a look in the front end. And now we have a beautiful and modern website. And like I said, it's exactly the same content. It's only the customization features from the theme that are different. And that was just for the free version of Astra, but with the pro version, you get access to the theme builder, which lets you edit any part of your website from top to bottom. Now, the other solution is Spectra, which is a visual website builder. And if you combine Spectra with Astra, you can now use the power of the lightweight WordPress core editor, but with enhanced blocks and so many options like Flexbox options, where you control the layout in just a single click. Now, no matter which solution you choose, whether it's a theme, a plugin, or a combination, make sure that you choose a solution that gives you total creative freedom. Next, performance issues. Now let's face it, WordPress isn't the fastest platform out there. It just happens to be the platform that most people chose. That's what the market chose. WordPress uses a combo that isn't the fastest in the world, PHP and MySQL. It's slow sometimes, especially when you compare it to some other platforms, to some other solutions. So you need to be smart about it. First, you should choose lightweight themes and plugins. And if you want to know how to find out, well, Google is your friend. It's going to be super easy to find which are the fastest themes and plugins. Next, you want to optimize the images on your website because images are one of the first reasons why websites are slow. So for example, you see this beautiful image here. Well, I can get it to 150 kilobytes, actually 151 kilobytes with a decent quality. And for that, I'm using the WebP format. Now, if you want to optimize your website even better, you may want to install a caching plugin. Now, a cache plugin makes it easy for returning visitors to access your website content faster by eliminating the many steps a browser takes to generate pages dynamically. Or in other words, it makes your website way faster. So if you're looking for a free solution, you may want to take a look at the Lightspeed Cache plugin. And if you're looking for a premium solution, take a look at the performance plugin called Perf Matters or the caching plugin called WP Rocket for a lightning fast website. Next, too many poorly coded themes and plugins. Many of these plugins are poorly coded, that's the reality. So what happens next is you install those plugins on your website or on the client website. And the next thing you know, the website is slow, you get lots of incompatibility issues. And before you know it, the website is unusable. So I'm going to give you a few solutions to fix that. And the first one is to avoid a hype and to prefer established brands, even though there is a place for newcomers also. But the first thing you should do is to look at what those companies are doing. So for example, when you get a free plugin, it's always good when it's backed up by a company that actually makes money with other products. Why? Well, because everybody needs to eat. If the developers are getting paid, they're happy, they're gonna stay, and the company's still gonna be there in five years when you need to update your website. So you get the idea, but that doesn't mean that you should not get their free products. And one way you can look at whether or not you should at least try this product, 
And you can do this, you can replicate this with any theme, any plugin. First of all, you should look at the number of installs. If you find a plugin with 30 installs and a five star rating, you know, there's just one review and it's probably from the developer's mother, you know, it doesn't make sense. Also, you may want to take a look at when was the last update, because if it was updated like nine months ago, it may indicate that it's not actively being developed. And also, it's not really secure. Next, you want to avoid null themes and plugins at all costs. So if you don't know what a null theme or plugin is, basically it's a pirate version of an official theme or plugin. Now I got a little story about this, because a few years ago I was working as a freelancer and just to cut a long story short, I was called to the rescue because there was this client, he had a new website made, basically he had many businesses and he purchased this new business and he got someone to create a website for it. Now, apparently that professional used a null plugin or a theme and basically the day they were releasing the website, that client, he sends emails to all of his employees with the URL and basically when they clicked and they got on the website, well, let me tell you, it's the kind of website you don't want to show publicly, especially not to your employees, if you see what I mean. But hey, if you want to take a chance, be my guest. Four, the need for too many plugins. Now, this is a really painful one because the more plugins you have, the slower your website can get, especially if you combine it with a previous point, with the poorly coded themes and plugins, it can become a nightmare. So not only can you get your website to be slow, but also it can lead to incompatibility issues. And even if you want to keep the numbers of plugins to a minimum, sometimes it's just impossible. Because of the features you want, you need to install this plugin and that plugin and that plugin. Now, one of the ways to fix this is to use plugins that combine several features. Now you're on the Brainstorm Force channel, so let me tell you what I mean with the Spectra Visual Website Builder plugin. So with Spectra, on top of the Visual Website Builder, you can integrate dynamic content, you can integrate page templates and patterns in just a few clicks, you get version control, and you get performance features like loading Google Fonts locally or allowing only selected fonts. Next, you can integrate Instagram if you want to integrate your Instagram gallery, and you also get site visibility options like enabling coming soon mode or enabling maintenance mode. Now, there is much more than that, like animations, many other tools, but you get the point. And usually that would take like what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 plugins, and now you can combine this into Spectra. And cherry on the cake is gonna help when it comes to incompatibility issues because the less plugins you have, the less chances you have of having an incompatibility between those plugins. Five, security. Now WordPress is the leader of the market. It's so popular that it gets targeted first by hackers. So that's one of the main issues. If you have a lot of plugins that are poorly coded and you get targeted by hackers because yeah, it's, it's WordPress. Well, if you don't do maintenance, you know, it's gonna happen. And by maintenance, I mean the update of the core of WordPress, the plugins and the theme that you use. Now, the next thing you can do is to install a security plugin. Like for example, the Malker security plugin or the solid security plugin, which used to be called iThemes security. By using one of these security plugins, it's really going to help because basically it's going to tell you what's wrong and it's going to block some of the attacks before they even happen. So that was five frustrating points about WordPress. But if you'd like me to create a video about five things I absolutely love about WordPress, please let me know in the comments below. And by the way, did I leave anything out? Is there any frustrating point that you'd like to add? I'd be curious to know. So please let me know in the comments below.